Welcome back to High Stakes. Today, we will be discussing the following NBA matches that is happening on Saturday, November 11th, 2023. We will be providing our team total and prop picks for the day. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you want access to our premium picks, you can check out our Patreon page. You can find the link to our Patreon page in the description and comment section below. In the upcoming game between Toronto Raptors vs. Boston Celtics The Boston Celtics are set to play against the Brooklyn Nets on Thursday night, and they'll be facing the Toronto Raptors in the second game of a back-to-back. -back. In their Wednesday game against the Philadelphia 76ers, the Celtics aimed to avenge last year's epic playoff series but came up short, losing 106-103 on the road. Chris Tapps Porzingis led the way for Boston with 29 points, and Derek White, who had missed the previous two games, contributed 19 points. Jason Tatum also had a notable performance, finishing with 16 points and 15 rebounds. Considering the back-to-back -back schedule, the Celtics may choose to rest key players such as Jalen Brown, Chris Tapps Porzingis, Drew Holiday, or Jason Tatum. After narrowly missing out on back-to-back -back trips to the NBA Finals last season, the Celtics made significant roster changes, acquiring the seven-foot-tall Porzingis and five-time all-defensive selection Drew Holiday. Boston currently leads the NBA in net rating in the early weeks of the regular season. They are widely considered to have one of the deepest and most experienced teams in the Eastern Conference. The Celtics have also been dominant on the boards, ranking third in rebounding percentage. Despite load management rules in the NBA, it is likely that Boston will rest players in this particular game. The Toronto Raptors, on the other hand, have a two-day break leading up to their matchup against the Boston Celtics. In their recent game on the road against the Dallas Mavericks, the Raptors secured a 127-116 victory, marking their fourth win of the season. Pascal Siakam delivered a standout performance with 31 points and 12 rebounds, while OG Anunoby added 26 points. Following a remarkable comeback from a 22-point deficit against the San Antonio Spurs just three nights prior, Siakam and Anunoby combined to orchestrate an 11-0 run in the third quarter, providing the Raptors with a comfortable lead. Although the Mavericks briefly closed the gap to five points with a late third-quarter three-pointer, they couldn't get any closer. Siakam achieved season-high statistics and points and rebounds in this game, a promising sign for the two-time All-Star who had a slow offensive start to the season. He made 15 of 25 field goals and contributed five assists. Raptors coach Darko Rajakovic praised Siakam's dedication, stating that he put in the hard work to excel. Scotty Barnes was also a notable contributor, recording 14 points, 14 rebounds, 7 assists, 4 steals, and 2 blocks in the game. In their previous game against the Dallas Mavericks two days ago, the Raptors employed a balanced approach with strong performances from Dennis Schroeder, who scored 18 points, and Gary Trent Jr., who added 16 points. Considering that Boston is on the second game of a back-to-back, -back, it's expected that they will rest one of their key players, whether it be Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, or Drew Holiday. The Toronto Raptors have shown significant improvement compared to their performance in the first week of the season, currently ranking 8th in defensive rating. Their length and athleticism are expected to pose a challenge for the Celtics. Therefore, it's advisable to consider the Toronto Raptors as the favored team in this matchup. Furthermore, the Toronto Raptors are ranked 28th in pace, and given that Boston will be playing their second game in two days, it's likely that the pace of the game will be slowed down, favoring a more conservative half-court style of play. Regardless of which players Boston decides to rest, the game is anticipated to be low-scoring. Therefore, taking the under on total points scored in this game is a prudent choice, 